programme is about place value and putting numbers in order. We can see that these children waiting to take their turn on the slide are all different ages. But who's the oldest and who's the youngest? Well, the children are aged six, nine, five, seven, and because the baby isn't even one yet, we'll say here that the baby is zero years old. But we can make it easier to see who's the oldest and who's the youngest by putting them in order. Youngest or smallest number first, biggest number last, and the others lined up in order in between. Another way to line up these children is on a number line. Our smallest number is zero, so they line up with zero on the line. Our biggest number is nine, so moves on to the nine, and all the other numbers line up in order in between. So, now it's easy to see how old the children are and the gaps in age between them. We have the very young child at zero, a big jump to the next oldest at five, a jump of just one year to the next child, and the next one, and a jump of two years to the oldest child. Now we can see the order of the numbers and the gaps between them. Put the smallest number first, the biggest number last, and the others all in order in between. With the smallest number first, and the biggest number last, the order of the numbers very plainly can be seen. Mark out zero up to nine, yes zero up to nine. Put the numbers in the place that they should be. With the numbers on the line, yes the numbers on the line. The jumps between the numbers very plainly can be seen. Putting numbers in order can be useful for lots of things. This is a balloon race and every child has a balloon with their name and address written on a tag attached to the balloon. So off they go and the balloon that flies the furthest distance wins the race. The person who finds a balloon after it lands writes on the tag where it landed, how far it travelled and posts the tag back to the owner. So here we are, one week later, and all the balloons have landed and the tags have been returned to their owners with the number of kilometres they have travelled written on the tags. First we need to put the numbers into order, starting with the lowest numbers. The numbers with one digit are the lowest, because they are all less than ten, so we put them in order first. Eight, five and two. 5 and 8. That leaves all the numbers with two digits. The one starting with 1, the T numbers are next. 15, 16 and 30 are put in order like this. Then we do the 20s. see them all in order. So now we can easily see whose balloon travelled the shortest distance and whose balloon travelled the furthest. All the numbers have been put in order by looking closely at their digits. Single digits first! Find the single digits first The single digits first First digit is one 
Children who've had the balloon race are standing in order. But we can also show them on a proper number line with gaps between the numbers. So if we slide in the start of a full number line at the top of the screen, the single digit numbers take their places first, then the teen numbers, 13, 15 and 16 next, And finally, the twenties numbers on the end of the number line. And so we now have one long number line and the correct gaps between the children's numbers. But the numbers in this number line are now tiny. What can we do to make it easier to see all the numbers and still have the gaps in between? Well, we can cut the number line up and rearrange it. Single digit numbers on the top, the T numbers in the middle, and the twenties numbers at the bottom. And now we have a larger, clear, and very useful number rectangle. Hello, and welcome to the Maths Channel Quiz Show. OK, Daniel, I'd like you to look at this number rectangle. Looking just at the red numbers, can you tell me a number that is one more than another number? Uh, 16 is one more than 15. Yes! But how did you know? Well, they're both next to each other on the same row. Yes, numbers on the same row have a difference of one. Now, Chris, using the number rectangle, can you tell me a number that has a difference of 10? One number that is 10 more than another number. Uh, 16 and 26. Correct. But how do you know? Uh. <clears throat> Daniel, can you answer the question? Uh, yeah. Well, 26 is exactly underneath 16 on the number rectangle, and that means it must be exactly 10 more. Yes, 26 is 10 more than 16. Now, both of you. Using a number rectangle, what is the easy way to find a number 11 more than another number? I got it. You move down a row and then go right. Show us. Well, you start at 5, then you go down a row to 15, and then you add 1, which is 16. Yes, Chris, you got the answer right today. But how about you out there? Can you answer this question? Using a number rectangle, what is the easy way to add 22? Good luck and cheerio! Yeah. 